Welcome back, Roman Vacationers. This is Tiny Tour Tuesday, where you get five minutes of cultural and historical knowledge in a bite-sized bit well before you can get here to Rome. Today we're at Trajan's Column, one of my favorite spots, but I'm not going to give anything away because that's what Mirch is here for. Welcome back. They brought me back. <laughs> nice to see everybody. The um, reason why they brought me back, well, these are my ancestors. Um, I, I've been told that I'm not allowed to say certain words, so these guys were really bad buttons uh, in a lot of ways. So we're going to talk about the Dacians. This was the bane of the East of the Empire for a while, and Trajan is the man that beat them. Thus, the Romanians of today, descendants from the Dacians, have him in, his in their national anthem as much as they have the Dacians. Basically, guys, behind me, I, I have the column of Trajan. It was his final resting place. This is one of the greatest generals that Rome ever had. Between the early 100s to the 120s, this man is still the fear of Rome like Caesar managed to only. Imagine that in about 20 years, the man managed to add about 20% of his country's surface. He basically conquered Dacia, one of their natural enemies in the east, today's Romania. After that, he moves on and, and moves all the way to the Parthian lands, Iran, Iraq, Syria. He conquered so much land that his descendant, Adrian, actually had to give it back because they didn't have enough troops to keep it. How did Trajan keep it? Fear. Trajan managed to conquer Dacia, one of the biggest gold producers in the world at that point. How can I prove that? Look down at the base. If you notice, the base of the column is actually a snake, which is the Dacian flag, and a lot of good tools of war, shields, swords. That is a sign of a rich country. They were a big gold producer, and this is what enabled Trajan to conquer most of the East afterwards. Now, I diverge, and I don't want to talk only about the Dacians, though the column is impressive, built in just one year, 113. It does have a copy in today's National Museum in Bucharest. On top of it, you used to have Trajan's statue in bronze, gold, and silver. That was the downside. Barbarians like bronze, gold, and silver. So by the 1600s, you end up with the statue of St. Peter's. Cool fact, Peter's always looks at the Vatican. If you're in Rome, that's basically when they hang the map. So it's always north. It's like Moss. Now, looking around this way. Well, the Dacians were brave and the Dacians were strong and rich. It took two wars, 101 and 102, 105 and 107. By the end of it, they failed. They weren't the most educated nation. They basically used a basic form of Greek to trade, sheep, cattle. But with the money he got from there and the veteran almost 200 strong, 200,000 strong army, he steamrolled over the Middle East, which is a cradle of civilization and knowledge. So behind me, the columns are what remains of the Library of Trajan. This is where the knowledge of the ancient Hittites, Babylonians, Sumerians, one upon another, all the nations he conquered when Parthia fell. This is where you have the teachings of Zarathustra being translated into Latin first time and things like the, the stories of Gilgamesh going to Latin. Obviously, for the 30% of the Romans, they could read, but imagine an age where you get free education. And now look at the age we live in. We get it everywhere, but our countries are not going to get this video. They don't get it. And Trajan would have been appalled. Now, around in the same square, you have the thing we've always shown you, Palazzo Venezia, symbol of Italian unity. But more important, one thing that you need to know when you come down here and you get a Colosseum tour, most people are used to going in front of the monument and that means you're gonna miss out on a ton of things. One thing I really want you guys to know, there's a gate that just opened last year here. If you get your Colosseum Palatine Forum ticket, and this is something we do on our tours all the time, we will put you through this gate here. That means that you get to see the complex and not just that. The, basically, the whole library behind extends all the way till that monument. Now, Mussolini in his greater glory of fascism, let's put it so, he put a street because, you know, hypocrisy, and, and blocked the whole forum of Caesar. But you can actually go all the way underneath it to the other side. And with uh, a, a ticket at the Colosseum, most people just go in, see it, get, you know, get the sticker, and walk away. But in this way, you can actually go from here, go under, see the whole forum, pass by the Senate, finish all the way at the Colosseum. The cool thing is, one trek, you don't go back, you don't go forward. So remember that for when you come. Past that, Trajan is one of the biggest Roman emperors. And I'll put it this way, as an ending. I'm not the one saying it because I'm Romanian. Most of you guys are Westerners. Gibbon puts him as one of the five good emperors of Rome. And with that said, thanks for your time. Hope to see you. This is me signing out. Bye, everybody. Oh, bye. 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 bye.